I'm not gonna take much of your time today. Um, I made some raspberry pudding with some chocolate. Of course it's with some chocolate. It has to be. And some tea. Because it's tea time deal with vanilla. Tea time. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I make up in my own head. And then I get bothered with it. And then right after I make it up in my head, I see it in real life. <laughs> and then it bothers me even more. And I'm like, oh, I gotta talk to you about this. My bangs are getting longer, so they're getting in my eyes, and I don't want to cut them anymore. That's it. I cut them once. I'll, I like them, but just never mind. Anyways, let's talk about what's up. So, as you can see from the title, I want to talk about me not being a teacher. And you're probably like, what the fuck, Danella? You basically teach us English? That means that you're basically a teacher? Technically, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I want to give up that title. I want to give up that label. Like, I'll keep teaching you English, but no, I'm not a teacher. Please. Why? The word limits a human so bad. And you guys know that I hate limits. You guys know that I hate it when somebody tells me, oh, this is what you can do and this is what you cannot do. No, 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 no. I can do whatever I want. That's where this comes from. I can do whatever the hell I want to be doing. I can teach the way I want to teach you. If it's going to be me through screaming, being loud, silly, crazy, energetic, yes. I want to teach you lessons that I choose to teach you. And that we choose to teach you together. I want to be in control. Okay? And the moment somebody comes to me and is like, hey, that's not what teachers do. I'm like, <laughs> bitch, you're talking to the wrong one because I'm not a teacher. So when you come to a teacher, especially an English teacher or a language teacher, and you ask them a question like, hey, how can I learn to speak at a cafe? Like, how can I speak to people when I'm inside some cafe? What do you expect teachers to, like, how do you expect your teachers to reply? Hey, I'm going to teach you some phrasal verbs that you can use to speak and improve your speaking. And, like, I don't know how to express this. I don't know how to put this, but it just feels wrong. Like, every single answer that language teachers give you come from the teacher perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me say it again. Every single answer that you get from teachers come from teacher perspective, not from a human perspective. And I want to teach you my language from a human perspective. And that's why I don't want you to call me a teacher. That's why I'm not a teacher. I'm just a human, okay? Telling you what to say. I mean, how to think. Or what kind of expressions to use in certain situations. That's it. I don't want to be limited. Here's another thing. When you ask your teachers to give you some resources to study English, what do you get? You get English books. You get workbooks, grammar books, uh, uh, vocabulary books. Like, books that are related to language learning. That's, again, from a teacher's perspective. And I... Why, why wouldn't I be able to, cor to recommend you some books about the Great Pyramid in Egypt? Like, what's wrong with that? Why can't you learn English that way? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to deal with teacher stuff. No. Now, here's the thing. There are a lot of teachers out there that are really open-minded and do teach this way. And I'm like, <laughs> hats down. Thank you for helping this world the right way. Hmm. And whenever I swear, whenever I use the F words, and you're like, oh, you're a teacher, you're not, shut the fuck up. I'm, a, I'm not a teacher, I'm a human, and I can use them as much as I want, okay? Thank you. It's like, I'm teaching ma, I'm teaching life, language, through life, not through 
English lessons, okay? That's it. That's all I want you to know. I'm not sure if I I'm not sure if I just put it all in this video. If I missed on something, I'm just probably going to do another video just to add it up. Um but that's it. Limitations that learners set and that teachers subconsciously follow. Like bitch, you ain't got to set any kind of limits on me. That's it. Thank you. I thought I thought I heard something. So hey, look at me. Human in my house. Having my tea, not hiding it, eating pudding. Like I'm a fucking psycho because I love pudding. Um just living this life and just 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 sending you some ways on how to speak a certain language, which is English in this case. That's it. Let's not complicate it anymore. Call me Danella, not teacher Danella. Thank you. Hope you enjoy my videos on Instagram. Hope you enjoy my videos on YouTube. Oh, by the way, have you noticed that I'm doing a lot of motivation and new English words through motivational videos for you? Because that's that's what matters more. Real life motivation that you can use to better yourself and become more energized to reach your goals and aspirations. That's it. That's it for today. Thank you so much. Dinella this. Call me Dinella. And see you. In the next video. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys. Hope you liked the video. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, share with your friends. Because I would love everyone to know what's up. Um, and if you are someone who just found my YouTube channel um, accidentally somehow, welcome! Follow me on Instagram, it's somewhere right here. Um, hope you enjoy my videos everywhere, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! And I'm gonna get down. I love you. And I'm gonna get down. I love you. And I'm gonna get down. I love you. Girl, I wanna get down.